Hello everyone! In this video I will present you with flashcards that I made so that you can practice assigning point groups. The flashcard software that I use is for free and is called Onki. Ok, so how do we start? First make sure that you are familiar with some flowchart for assigning point groups. The flowchart from the previous video is in the description. Secondly, I would advise you to go to this website, again link in the description, and make sure that you understand and can see symmetry elements. Then I would use the flashcards. I made an entire video series on Onki, but if you have dangerously little time to your exams, I made very short survival video. You must at least watch that. Onki is very powerful, but not super intuitive. Again, a link to the Onki survival video is in the description. I suspect some of you will struggle with VSEPR. So in the comment field of most of the flashcards, I also outline the electron count and I justify the shape. The only thing I would like to remind you is that most spatially demanding domains like lone pairs or ligands like oxygen, which are bound to the central atom through double bonds, they like to have more space. So in a trigonal bipyramidal geometry, they prefer to be equatorial. However, for pentagonal bipyramidal geometry, there are five ligands equatorial. The angle reduces to 72 degrees and therefore spatially demanding groups will prefer to be axial now. I'm not going to go through the examples with you. First, you have everything you need. And secondly, I believe it would be better for you to go over the examples by yourself rather than just staring passively at me doing some stuff. A lot of the examples are taken from my handouts. Uh, for some examples, I even looked for some crystallographic data to back up the answer. However, if you feel you found some mistake, please let me know in the comments so that I will correct it. There should be no mistakes, but considering the amount of copy-paste I did and the amount of typing, even that alone could introduce some mistakes. So the link to the flashcard file is also below the video. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Bye.